Triglycerides are a type of lipid. And as a type of lipid, they are going to be hydrophobic. And these are also gonna be one of the larger lipids that we do look at. Now triglycerides, they do have a couple different names that they go by. Um, I tend to use the word triglycerides, but these can also be called triacylglycerol. Or they can be called fat molecules. I really like to stay away from that one because with that one, students tend to get them confused with fatty acids. And they are a different molecule altogether. So one of the reasons why triglycerides are gonna be um, lipids and why they're gonna be hydrophobic is because they're going to have mostly nonpolar covalent bonds. And that's because there's going to be big hydrocarbon portions And now we want to talk about the actual structure of these molecules. So when we talk about them, notice that the word triglycerides, there is a tri part in there. We can also see it in this um, name as well. And so there are going to be three of something. Specifically, these are going to be made from three fatty acids. So that's where the tri part comes from. And then they're also going to have one glycerol molecule. And so we're gonna combine these together with some dehydration reactions, and that's gonna give us this larger molecule, which we do refer to as the triglyceride. So if we start to draw the structure of the triglyceride, first we're gonna have our glycerol molecule. And the glycerol molecule is a pretty small molecule. It has three carbons, and each one of these carbons is going to have a hydroxyl group on it. And then I'm just going to surround the rest of my carbons with hydrogens so that we get our four bonds around each carbon like we're always supposed to have. And then what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking our three fatty acids and we're going to be attaching them at each one of these hydroxyl group positions. So three fatty acids, it will take three dehydration reactions to attach them on there. So if I draw my fatty acids here, Recall that fatty acids have a carboxyl group on the end of them, and then they're going to have a long hydrocarbon tail, which I'm just gonna draw right now with the skeletal formula. So we'll put one of them on right there. Since it's a dehydration reaction, we will remove a hydrogen and a hydroxyl group. So those are going to leave in the form of water, and when they leave as water, then this oxygen is going to get attached over here to this carbon. We're going to have the exact same thing happen right here. So if I just draw another one, and we will have a third one down here that gets attached to that last hydroxyl group. Now I've drawn this kind of sloppy. Um, I do want to point out that these Fatty acids do not have to be all exactly the same fatty acid. They can be different lengths. Some of them may be saturated, some of them may be unsaturated. And with each one of these, it's a dehydration reaction that's going to make this connection right here. So ultimately, when we make them, we will remove three water molecules with our three dehydration reactions that we're going to do. Okay, so looking at what we would have after all of these dehydration reactions have taken place, this is where the glycerol kind of remnants are at, and we like to call this our glycerol backbone. And so I'm drawing that in black, and then the portion that was the fatty acids, I'm going to put here in green. Okay, so this would be the first one with my long hydrocarbon tail there. Here we have another one. And then we will have the third one down here. I'm gonna make this one um, a little different, again, just for emphasis that they don't have to all be the same. And so we've got um, this structure here, this whole thing is called a triglyceride. Now we have formed some linkages here. These linkages have special names. The linkages in this case are called ester linkages. 
And so when we have a triglyceride molecule, there will be ester linkages inside because of the dehydration reactions. One last thing that I wanna point out about this molecule is we said that it is gonna be hydrophobic. That is because of all the nonpolar covalent bonds that we do have in it. And so this portion right here, if you just look at it, and this is the main part of the molecule or the vast majority of the molecule, that part is all hydrocarbon. And so because it's all hydrocarbon, of course, those are nonpolar covalent bonds. This is not something or a region where water molecules would be able to interact with this molecule. And so for that reason, it is hydrophobic. Um, it will associate really only with other hydrophobic molecules. So to recognize a triglyceride, we are looking mainly for three long hydrocarbon tails. And that's the part that I've highlighted here in red. And then these will be connected together with a little three carbon backbone, which is our glycerol backbone, which is being shown here in black. 